Hey everybody, welcome back to DD82. DD82 will be a little bit more difficult. It's about the future. How will your future be? It's also about a guy who invented a great machine, but more later. First, we need to go back to DD81, which was long, very interesting if you watched the video, and also very useful. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. He placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water. And then every day for a month, he said, thank you to one beaker. You're an idiot to the second. And the third one, he completely ignored. The most difficult word was right here. It came out two times, beaker. Beaker, I'll explain in a minute. Let me read it. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. He placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water. And then every day for a month, he said thank you to one beaker, you're an idiot to the second, and the third one, he completely ignored. Okay? Let's go to the top. Dr. Emoto. That is the Japanese doctor's name. He's a PhD health. Uh, he's into health. Very famous guy. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. Dr. Emoto is famous for his experiments with water. But this time, another interesting experiment. Hmm. So the key word, when we use the, ver, uh, the, the noun experiment, we usually use the verb conducted, to conduct an experiment, okay? But we can simply say, he has done another interesting experiment. He has performed, performed another interesting experiment. Also, this word interesting correct in your dictionary interesting but the daily english pronunciation for most americans interesting interesting so i'll write it again in tris uh, i'll say it t r i s interesting 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 that's the typical pronunciation the in we stop we drop the e interesting interesting that's the most common pronunciation the same thing with interest interest like bank interest 18 percent interest 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 it's perfect but usually we say interest, interest. So one more time. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. And what was it? He placed, instead of placed, we could say he put, he placed, he put rice into three glass beakers. Okay, glass beakers. If you look at a scientist's laboratory, there are test tubes and Bunsen burners. I'll put it here test tubes and Bunsen, Bunsen burners and beakers. These are beakers. So he had three glass beakers, and inside three glass beakers, he put rice. And after putting the rice into the beakers, he covered it with water. <laughs> Wrong English. We can't say it. We should say them. Sure, it's three glass beakers, so it's not it, it's them. 
So even native English speakers make mistakes. Don't worry so much about the grammar. It should be them. So he covered them with water. So in the glass beaker, he put rice, and then he added water, covering the beakers. Do you understand? So there's rice, and then he put water in, and shoop, the water covered the rice inside the beaker. Okay? And then, after that, every day, we should make it two words, every day for a month. So for 30 days, or 31 days, or 29 days, or February, leap year, anyway. For every day for a month, he said, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu to one beaker, to the first beaker. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. You are has three pronunciations. The first pronunciation, you were. You were. You were. The second pronunciation, your. Your. And the third pronunciation, your. Your. And we use all three, but in daily conversation, year is the most common. An A-N pronunciation for Americans, it's an, and like can, can, your, an, your, can, can, get rid of the C, your, an, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're a fool, you're a dummy, you're stupid. That's what he said to the second to the second beaker. And the third one, he completely ignored. He didn't say anything. Didn't even look at the third beaker. And the mystery is, what happened to the rice? So if you have not seen the video, down below there's a link to this video. Watch it till the end. It's pretty interesting. And maybe you can try it at home. If you don't have rice, try something else. Maybe bread or something. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Anyway, it's some good English. And there's a couple of good points. Beakers, that's a science word. So if you're not a scientist or if you're not a chemist or a high school student, you don't need the word too much. But interesting, interesting. Experiment conducted to do an experiment perform an experiment, conduct an experiment. And then, of course, just the practice of pronunciation. Let's say it again. Let's say it together. Ready? One, two, three. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. He placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water. And then, every day for a month, he said, thank you to one beaker. You're an idiot. To the second, and the third one, he completely ignored. Listen two more times, and then we'll move on to DD82. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. He placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water. And then every day for a month, he said, Thank you to one beaker. You're an idiot to the second and the third one he completely ignored Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment he placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water and then every day for a month he said thank you to one beaker you're an idiot to the second and the third one, he completely ignored. DD82 is uh, it's about a guy. His name is Dean Kamen. And he's a famous inventor. Actually, he invented the Segway. This crazy thing. But he also invented something really important. He invented a water purification system. This is, this is the machine. It looks cool. And you can take any water. You can take water from a lake. You could take water from the ocean. 
you could take water from the toilet and put it in this machine and then pretty soon you can drink it. This is brilliant. It's actually not that expensive. It requires low, just a little bit of electricity, not too, I think it's a hundred watts, so not too much electricity. It's very inexpensive and this is the type of machine that we need all over the world because a lot of people don't have clean water to drink. And they say in 10 years, water will be much more valuable. Clean water will be more valuable than fuel. So we might have wars over water, and that's terrible. If we have this technology, we need to start using it. This machine was invented six years ago. They need to start using it. I want to see people using it. I don't have a million dollars. This machine is only two, three, it's a few thousand dollars. Bill and Melinda Gates, your viruses are great, but start with the water. The water's the most important. All those billions of dollars, buy this machine and send it all over Africa and, and India and, and Southeast Asia, wherever they don't have clean water send this machine. I think it's important. It's a good, the machine is called the Slingshot. Slingshot. And you can watch some videos on the Slingshot. But, I want to talk about this guy. He says something interesting. Nowadays, people are worried about the future. There are so many negative things in the world. There's the wars, the crazy politicians, right? It's the financial disaster. People are worried about 2012, Comet Elenin, Planet Nibiru. Lots of things to worry about. But this guy gives a positive message and we should think positively as we continue in the future Let's make things better. Let's stop making things worse. It's uh, not too easy. It's about 40 words. It's a little bit fast, but you can do it. Good luck on DD82. And if it's too difficult, then DD83 will be really, really easy. I promise. And also, I have a request for doing something on Russia. So, I must find something to do on Russia. Any ideas? Okay. And at the end, I'll say hello to the new watchers. Thanks a lot, everybody. You know, most people think that the world is getting worse, that the life of their children is going to be less than they had. But the fact of the matter is, the world is getting better at an extraordinary rate. You know, most people think that the world is getting worse, that the life of their children is going to be less than they had, but the fact of the matter is the world is getting better at an extraordinary rate. You know, most people think that the world is getting worse, that the life of their children is going to be less than they had, but the fact of the matter is the world is getting better at an extraordinary rate. You know, most people think that the world is getting worse, that the life of their children is going to be less than they had, but the fact of the matter is the world is getting better at an extraordinary rate. Okay, we have a bunch of new listeners from Spain, gracias, to Pascua, Pascua 56, Pascua 56, thank you very much for joining my channel. From Italy, I like the Italian food, it's so delicious, 1979, Roca, ah, Rocco B. Is it Rocco? Rocco, Rocco B, 1979? Uh, grazie, grazie, grazie. Thank you very much for joining my channel. IT4096, IT4096, 
Are you from Japan? I'm guessing. I'm guessing Japan. Uh, if you are, tomo arigato, tomo arigato kojaimasu. Thank you very much. If you're not from Japan, thank you for joining my channel anyway. Okay, Phantoman 2. Fan I thought it was Fanta, like the orange drink, the Fanta, but no, it's Fanto, like fantasy? Fanto Man 2 from Egypt, Shokran. Thank you very much for joining my channel. Obrigado to Felipe Madonia. Is it Madonia, Felipe Madonia from Brazil? Ah, yes, thank you very much. Now, Brazil has the World Cup coming up, correct? That should be so exciting. From the Ukraine, from the Ukraine, we have Irina. 4086. Irina. Irina, thank you very much for joining my channel. In the Ukraine, you speak Russian, correct? So I can say, Dasvidaniya. Dasvidaniya. <clears throat> and now, Thailand. I need to... Okay, I'll learn a word from Thailand. At least, thank you. I need to learn... And somebody from Nepal said, I need to learn Nepalese. So I need to learn Thai. I need to learn Nepalese. Anyway, Mega Huma. Mega Huma. I like the name. That's a cool name. Mega Huma. Mega Huma from Thailand. Thank you very much for joining my channel. Please tell your friends. Let's make the channel bigger and better. And uh, if you have a special re special request, if you have a special request, let me know. Send me a video link. Thanks a lot. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.